Hi everyone. In this tutorial we'll be taking a look at Google SketchUp and how it can be used to facilitate um, an understanding of scale and measurement in the uh, uh, shape and space units of the mathematics curriculum. Sh uh, Google SketchUp is a downloadable application. Um, it's available from uh, Google. Um, and just in a Google search, just type uh, the words Google SketchUp and I guarantee that you'll find it. Um, I'll also put a link on the blog so that you can pull it down directly if, uh, if you choose to. Um, this is the opening window, the first time you start Google SketchUp. And uh, because uh, the class we're going to be doing is based in the, the meters unit, I'm going to select meters here. However, uh, for uh, future uh, lessons, I may want to actually use other units uh, of measure. So for right now, I'm going to leave this always show on startup switched on so that this window always pops up. Once I've uh, selected that uh, measurement, I can press Start using Google SketchUp. The screen that appears uh, shows a person standing in a uh, three-dimensional Cartesian grid. You can see the uh, X, Y, and Z coordinates drawn in red, green, and blue lines. Um, it's important to remember, by the way, that the red and green constitute the ground. Um, and you can also tell that by the look of the uh, sky in the background. You'll also see a person standing here, and that's to give a, a reference point so that uh, students, when they're looking at this, get a sense of how tall um, their structures are. So in this example, we have the task of um, designing a backyard. We're given the measurements that this backyard is uh, 17 meters by 50 meters. And so we're going to represent that by choosing a, a square. So I'm going to go up to my uh, tool panel and I'm going to choose the square tool. Next, I'm going to put my cursor right on the crosshairs here. And when I do, you'll see a square start to take shape as I drag this out. Now, I want to have a little bit more precise uh, measurements than just uh, drawing it by hand. So, what I can do is I can actually use this little window here to um, to enter this manually. So you can see I am dra dragging this uh, box up. But if I just start typing 17 comma 50, which means that I want the other corner of this to be at uh, coordinates, uh, or sorry, a width of 17 meters, a height of 50, when I press return, you see it draws a box for me. A little bit close though, so we do need to uh, back out a little bit. So I'm just going to roll my mouse wheel on the screen and you can see that the screen actually zooms out. Next, so that I can center my uh, box, I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to actually drag the little hand tool. And when I do, I can actually position that box anywhere that I want on the, on the grid so that I can see it. You see our person is still standing there, so you do immediately get a sense of how big the, uh, the box is for this yard. Now, just to get a sense of what this really looks like, I'd like to fence this yard as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an offset tool, because the fence is going to be basically parallel to the uh, sides of the yard. And so I'm going to click Offset, and I'm going to click on my area here. And you see immediately as I drag my mouse back and forth, it uh, joins different, uh, different sizes and shapes. I, however, want this to be a fairly believable yard, so I'm going to set the uh, width of my fence to just 10 centimeters. So again, I'm just going to start typing. Um, this time when I type, instead of typing a large number, I'm just going to do 10 centimeters, which in meters is 0.1 meters. And immediately, you can just barely make out a double line on the edge, and if I zoom in, you can much more readily see that double line. Now the next part of this is going to be taking that double line and actually turning it into a fence. To do that, I'm going to use the extrude tool, which is this guy right here. I'm going to click on this, then I'm going to drag my mouse down to the, to the box here, and you can see if I'm on the inside, it shades the inside of the box, but if I'm on the outside, it only shades the border. 
that's really my fence, that's what I want to extrude. So I'm going to click on that, and you can see immediately as I move my mouse back and forth, it uh, does change the shape and size of that fence. Again, however, because I uh, want to make this uh, precise and uh, believable, I'm going to just type in the height of that fence, so I'll just press on my keyboard, 6, and because this is measured in feet, I actually have to tell it that this is measured in feet, so I can't just push 6 because the template's assuming that it's meters. Instead, I have to do 6 apostrophe for 6 feet. And now when I press return, it's now drawn my uh, fence for me. Now again, I'm zoomed in quite a ways, so if I uh, roll my mouse wheel, you can see now that I'm zoomed out, and you get a sense of what this yard looks like. Now the first thing I might want to bring into that uh, fenced yard is a deck. Um, one of these walls is, is uh, the house itself. Um, I can draw that as well if, uh, if that's of use, um, but I, I'm just going to assume that it's fairly close to the middle of this just so we can uh, play around. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up to the top here and on the right side of my toolbar you'll see a couple of um, icons here, a box with a down arrow and a box with an up arrow. The box with the down arrow is for finding models, and the box with the up arrow is for sharing models. So if I just click Get Models, it actually takes me to a Google search, and I'm just going to, it's a Google 3D warehouse, and I'm going to do a search for deck. And when I do, I get a whole bunch of things that have uh, the term deck in it. Um, I like this basic deck, so I'm just going to click on that. And um, once I get this up on the screen, all I'm going to do is press Download Model. Um, it gives me a warning asking me if I want to load this model into my SketchUp. I'm going to press OK. And assuming that this was drawn to, to, to uh, specs, which it looks like it is, it's now a part of my screen. Now, I do want to put that into the house, um, and I can just do this briefly by... Um, um, just dragging it back here. Um, I'll put it ballpark where I'd like it to be. However, it's really hard to tell what I'm drawing at this part. So I'm going to go back up to the top of the screen here, and I'm going to use this tool right here, which is my orient tool. And, or sorry, orbit tool. And I'm just going to drag this up so that I can see the, uh, the house a, a bit better, or the uh, fence a bit better. I'm also going to grab my hand tool, which just basically moves the display, and I'm going to roll my mouse wheel a little bit so that uh, um, I get a decent sized image of this. And now all I'm going to do is grab my move tool, which is this one right here, and I'm going to click on the deck, and I'm going to move it right into position. There we go. And again, assuming the house, which in the real case is right here, is in that position. And again, I can just click off of it. Um, press escape on my keyboard, and now that deck is locked into position. Um, it might also be worthwhile pulling a tree out of the, um, out of the library. However, I might uh, choose to draw a tree, or I might choose to draw a swimming pool, whatever the case may be, and I can embed those the same way. Um, if, uh, by the way, I did want to draw a tree, it's actually a fairly straightforward thing to do. All I need to do is um, create a small cylinder for the trunk, uh, surrounded by a big cylinder on the top, and uh, I can embed that into my drawing. So I'm just going to uh, zoom in to just this empty space here. I'm going to uh, pick my uh, cylinder tool. Again, I'm going to manually type in the width of my tree. So this is a tree trunk, which is going to be maybe uh, 20 centimeters, so 0.2. Draws my cylinder for me. Um, I'm going to adjust the height. I'm going to choose my extrude tool again. Click on the tree, which I can go up and down. But I would like this uh, trunk part of the tree just to be 1 meter, so I'll just type 1, enter. And now that uh, has been limited to exactly one meter. 
Now on the top of that I'd like to do another cylinder just to represent the uh, body of the tree. So again I'm going to choose another circle. When my mouse comes to about the center of that circle you'll see I get a special uh, select tool that appears which means I'm going to grab the center of that circle which is important. Um, again I want to be as precise as possible so I'm going to say that this tree is um, or the foliage of this tree is has a radius of two meters and again I'm going to uh, um, grab my extrude tool push that up but this time I'm going to manually enter that the height of that is two meters as well and now when I zoom out I get a fairly uh, funny looking tree but it does give me a sense of where uh, where it might appear in the uh, garden so now if I wanted to take that tree and place it into my actual drawing, I could uh, bring this across and move the tree into that space. Alternatively, I might choose to make this tree into a, um, an object just like this deck is. Um, very, very simple to do. Um, all I need to do is just get to a point where I can see only the tree pieces. There we go. Um, I'm now going to um, use my select tool which is this guy right here and I'm just going to draw a box around the tree and now using my edit window I'm going to choose oh I'm going to reselect that and now using my edit window I'm going to choose make component and that actually saves it as a component in my um, um, local uh, directory so I can hit create and immediately um, pick my move tool and place that somewhere in the yard I hope this has been helpful. Um, obviously, there's lots that this program will do. We've only just touched the surface of it. But you can see immediately how easily we can uh, create um, a sense of scale um, from nothing more than measurements. As always, if you have uh, further questions, uh, feel free to give me a shout. Um, I will record more screencasts about Google SketchUp. Um, this one is just to basically get a, a sense of uh, where things are for you. Um, I should mention, however, that there is a tool for measuring. And if I want to just figure out how far that tree is from the uh, fence, I can actually do that by literally clicking inside the tree, clicking on the fence, and um, you'll see immediately a length appears in my box of 12.38 meters. So if you want to know how far things are from one another for the real blueprints, you can just click this tape and, uh, and sketch it out. Again, as I always say, um, ask me if you have any questions, and uh, I hope uh, the screencast was useful.